What's up guys, SP Architects here today. I want to show you how to create parametric wall separator in ArchiCAD. With this separator, you will be able to change the main shape, you can change segment thickness, and you can change the distance between separators. It's not only a wall separator, you can use this as a ceiling type, a wall decoration object, and similar usage. Before jumping in the tutorial, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It's going to help this channel with YouTube algorithms and I suggest you to subscribe because I'm going to make similar tutorials like this. Also, if you are serious about tutorial architect, you can go to my Patreon page. In that page, you can download my project files. You will find some advanced architect tutorials and I'm creating new tutorial there each week. Alright, without any further ado, let's get into the architect. Alright, here we are in our kit. At the very first, I will change the unit system from the options, project preferences, working units is going to be centimeters, and let's click OK. After that, we are going to create our main shape for the separator. We are going to use shell tool for this one. Let's click our shell tool, and for the geometry method, we will click this rule and this details for the structure. Let's make it simple and thickness will be zero. The material or surface is not important. For now, we are going to change it later. Now, we are creating our first layer. First, click any point, and I want to create a curve. So I'm gonna click this one, this icon. My first curve will be something like this and I'm going to be fellow of this tangent. Therefore, I'm gonna click the second icon. As you can see, it's following its tangent. With this tool, we won't see any corner between our intersection points for our curves. All right, this was the first section. Now our head asks us the distance between the sections. Actually, 3 meters is enough for this. Let's click OK. And here we are going to create our second section. I'm gonna make it eyeball. Maybe it's going to start like this. And continue to this direction. Let's click the second icon. Maybe it's following here. Because that must be opposite curves. As you can see here, one of them inside, one of them outside. And it's going to be finished simple to same note. Let's click twice and finish the shape. And then actually this point must be started from here. And something like this. Let's hit F3 to look at what we have. Let's make it simple white to see the color better. Maybe this glossy white. Click OK. Yeah, not bad. Maybe we could change this point location. We can make it sharper, like so. Let's click this corner and click this tangent edit. Let's make it follow this tangent so we won't see any corner here. Yeah, way more better. Maybe we can increase this height, not three meters, maybe five meters. Elevate profile and distance will be additional two meters. There you go. Let's rotate this. But in order to rotate this one, we are going to help from this east elevation. Right click that, open with curl to your settings. And we will see this shell. Let's move that to the ground floor. And rotate. Hold the shift and minus 90. There we go. In the 3D window, we have this 
Maybe it would be a good idea rotating another 90 degrees from the south elevation. Because our separator is going to work this style. Our thickness will start from this blue and finish from our shell. Alright, as you can see, this is shell. Actually, this is a parametric. You can change the shape to any shape you want. Now we can switch to our second parametric object, which is railing. Let's click that and change its settings. Actually, I want to start from a basic one. This panel type and I will delete inner glass, top rail and segment top will be zero. I'm going to delete post. It's going to be none. And this is going to be built in post maybe. And for our separators one of them will be 5 and one of them will be different value. I don't know now. Uh, actually, let's try this 5. Yeah, this is going to be 5 and this is going to be equal this distance. I don't know the value. For now, I'm going to make this 100 and the material will be wooden. Let's make that wood. For the section, we can use this timber, and for the outside texture, we can use this oak. And now we will increase the, actually reduce the distance between our segments. Let's make that 25 or that. Yeah, way more better. And it's going to be start from the center of the shell. Something like this. Yeah. Let's hit the end. Measure our value. It's 235. Actually, let's change this parameters from the this style and dimensions. I want to make this 200. That will be enough. Let's click OK. And as we can guess, this surface type will be the same. And we are going to click our railing, right click, connect solid element operations. This is going to be a target. And this is going to be operators. Maybe we can use inherit from operators and subtraction with upward extrusion. Let's hit execute. All right. It's well enough, but we will rotate this to 90 degrees around this Y axis, but you know, we cannot rotate the railing with that direction. So we are going to take help from our elevations. Let's go to ground floor and top view will be east elevation. Open that. I want to look the model from this direction. Therefore, we are going to use this east elevation. And with that, we click our railing, click file, libraries and object, save selection as object. And say, let's look at if it's going to work. Click to object and place. Unfortunately, it isn't working. Now we are going to take help from a simple wall. This wall is going to be base for our model.
We are going to activate this 3D window settings. We will right click this toolbar and click this 3D visualization. If you click that, you will see this. From here, we will click this accelerometry and we will see this look to perpendicular of grid surface. Let's click that and click this surface. And as we can guess, this is going to be our top view for our object. Now we can click our object, click file, libraries, object selection, object saving, and click OK. By the way, you can save this view to return this view easily. We are in the generic actionometry. Therefore, we will right click this one, not perspective view. Let's right click this actionometry and save current view and create. Now we can switch back to generic perspective and place our object. There we go. We have created our parametric object. Let's change its color. Maybe one. Be more better. If you want to ask me, how are we going to be change these parameters? How are we going to change the main shape? I show you how. Maybe. We will change this main shape. Well, let's make that. I don't know. Maybe this is going to be our main shape. And the distance will be changed, of course. Let's click our rating, go to settings. Maybe the 10 will be remained but the thickness will be 8. Let's click OK. After that, we will click our railing and from the view map, we will click our saved view. And then we will go to file, libraries, save selection as object. Let's click OK. And you can create a new object or you can overwrite that. It's up to you. As you can see, it was automatically changed by architect. This is the main change of this object. The second changing method is this is an object. You can change its parameters, top height and top width. This width is 70 centimeters from here to here. I want to make it 25. And maybe I want to change the height. Therefore, I'm going to input here 4. Now it's 4 meters. These were the methods how you can change this object's parameters and the main shape. And that's all. This is how you can create parametric separator wall in ArcGen. I hope you have enjoyed with the tutorial. If so, please hit the like button. And if you have any question or suggestion, please leave your comments in the comment section below. And if you are serious about learning ArcGen, you can go to my Patreon page. From there, I will be waiting for you. Alright, thank you for watching. Until next time, have a nice day. Bye.